Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at how close we are. Oh, that's a nice walleye. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. What do we got in store today, Brandon? Guys, we're extremely excited to tell you that we are approximately, holy cow, less than two and a half hours away from opener. Guys, it's time to catch some walleyes. We've been super excited. Obviously, ice fishing was great to us this year, and we had all the dam fishing this spring already, but there is nothing better than getting out up in northern Wisconsin and catching some walleyes on beautiful, pristine lakes out in the middle of gall dang nowhere. So, we've got a ton of stuff, like an absolute ton of stuff packed. We're just grabbing the last things before we leave the house. Come and check this out. I just wanna show you what we've got. As you can tell, it's really dark out, but this is our boat, and inside of it, this is our boat. We've got our normal boat that we built as of recent, and we've got the John boat inside of it. And you're probably wondering, well, why in the hell do you need two different boats to just go fishing for opening weekend? Okay, so we fish areas that are very different than most people are probably not used to. There are a lot of lakes that are carrying only. You can only get a John boat into them or a kayak. That's it. A lot of them you're not even allowed to use motors on. So we're literally going out in the middle of nowhere. Some of them you have to either walk or, you know, get through the woods. Sometimes it's almost a mile. So we've got a long trek ahead of us this weekend, but we are fully prepared. We have, like I said, our boat, the John boat, and a whole bed full of stuff. We've got, we got motors for both boats. We got batteries for both boats. We got all of our camping stuff flotation devices oh, all and, that good and stuff and all the back of the truck too oh yeah the whole back of the back seats are just littered we've we're coming prepared this year not we're only not just missing fishing anything stuff but oh camping gosh stuff just too, right? oh tons of camping stuff tons of stuff to you know do a little truck camping stay overnight i don't know how we're going to get all of this out of here and set up the tent but it's going to be interesting because it's going to go right in the back of this truck you guys have probably seen it before it's just something nick and i love to get out and do so it's going to be an awesome opener we're gonna go ahead grab the rest of our stuff you never know like i said we're going out in the middle of nowhere you never know when you need an axe or a saw or you just got to come prepared bring batteries bring everything you can think of for camping hiking fishing you name it we're gonna do it so let's go ahead get on the road Not like a super heavy rain, but definitely coming down. It's definitely gonna make things a little interesting, but it's not making us turn around, I'll tell you that. We've been waiting for this for so long that literally I think a tornado could go through and we might still fish in it. A little rain is not gonna be the end of the world. It's 46 degrees though, we got layers, we got rain jackets, so that's, that's not gonna stop us at all. We're probably about 20 minutes or so until we get to the lake. We still got a little bit of time, it's only 10, 20, so we got about an hour and a half still before we can actually launch the boat and get a line wet, but we still got a lot, a lot of work to do. We gotta get there and we got a little bit of a carry. We gotta carry the John boat down, unload it, load it up with all of our stuff, film some stuff for you guys, and then find a way. So we'll probably begin on the water at exactly midnight anyways, but a lot of work still to go. And again, we're gonna keep on driving and Hopefully the rain doesn't get too heavy on us. Well, it's almost 10.30 now. We're gonna go ahead and give our buddy John Lehman over at Mindac Outdoors, give him a FaceTime call real quick just to see what he's up to. Boys! Ooh. The Hobies, our hardest opener down in Wisconsin. Oh yeah, we got about an hour and a half. We, uh, we're almost to the lake. We just wanted to call you and see what you guys were up to before we lose service. Well, we just got some Taco John's. We're gonna go home, 
and play some Warzone without you guys. You guys are doing big, big boy things. Well, I know you guys can catch fish. Are you capable of catching dubs? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah I caught one before we left, actually. So, I, you know. Well, if you want me at Rust, bro, snipers only. Well, hey, we were uh, just kind of filling in some of our subscribers, and we just wanted to say congrats at 100K. That is, uh... Oh, man, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, it's easy when you have friends like you. Okay, no need to get cheesy on us that was, here. That was so no cheesy, need. That was so cheesy. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, we're probably going to lose service, but um, we'll send you some photos and let you know how we do in the morning, all right? All right, boys. Hope you clap them. Oh, we're going to try. Catch some dubs for me. All right, we will. All right, see you later, boys. All right, well, what do you think, Nick? Are we going to be rained on when we get here or what? Yeah. yeah. It's not looking great, but... I we checked the radar, but we don't have service anymore. So. No, service is pretty much gone. Oh well, we'll see. Holy cow, it's dark out here, Nicholas. How's that? A lot better, holy cow. Well, we made it. We definitely made her. And it somehow stopped raining. I was looking at the radar. It was supposed to rain until about one or two, I think, in this area. And, um... It's not, it's not raining. I mean, that's, that's a blessing. This is but, nice. Guys, so taking some stuff down, we pulled as far as we can. We got like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a mile walk down to the landing. Well, it's not really a landing, just kind of to the lake. Yeah. Started unloading that Yeah, disaster. so I had a battery and the trolling motor and I took a walk down there. Come follow me real quick. I took a gander while I was taking the stuff down and with my headlight, you know, it's bright. And walleye eyes are also bright when it's dark out when you get them with the when you hit them with the light. And I walked down here and I saw two walleyes in about a half foot of water doing the old spawn thing. So, you know, that's that's pretty promising. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, nice yeah, walleye. right there. Nice right walleye. There. See that one? Yeah, I saw him. He's right here. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's like a That's like a mid 20s. Honestly. Wow. See that's that? pretty awesome. Oh yeah. That's a nice walleye. That's got to be in like six inches of water. Yeah. Man, look at that. We can't even fish for that. But <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, here. Wait. Oh, here he, he comes. Here he comes. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at how close he is. Guys, it's it's gonna be a heck of a night. That's why. Uh, is this off? It is now. I can't tell. The LED that we have on the camera is ridiculously bright. But it's going to be one heck of a night. I'm extremely excited. I'm really happy the rain stopped. We still got to obviously bring all the stuff down and get the boat down. Well, let's go ahead and get everything ready. and uh, We're going to get after it. I cannot believe we're already seeing fish on the shoreline. This is awesome. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at how close we are. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Look at. I mean, I could literally like reach out and touch that thing if I had boots on my right now. If I had my wow. boots, obviously I'm not going to do that. But like that fish was in. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, it's literally. <laughs> what? What is that? Not even a foot. Maybe. There he is, just inches. chilling out there. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Catch him by hand. What do you think? That oh is just my. crazy. Coming back, say hi. Is he actually? No, What's dude, that's two uh, more. Buddy. There's two small. That's that's not the same fish. That's two oh, more. Oh no, that's two different ones. What the? Oh Ooh. yeah, those are definitely smaller than that first one. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Jeez. That's <laughs> crazy. Well, I guess uh, we know that the fish are here. This is going to be a test of our abilities to see if we can get into them tonight. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and unload everything out of the truck, get it into the boat. Let's get out here, and uh, when 12:01 comes around, it's time. In here quick, launch us out. Now, you would think that we would probably fish the shorelines after seeing that many walleyes. And, if you look at that, it is midnight, May 2nd. It is officially the opener. We figure what we were seeing on the shoreline was about 5% of the lake. Not a very big lake, but I mean, we're literally just by the shore, just in the area where you launch your boat. So we figure if we take out the boat, uh, we'll be able to see a lot more walleyes and yes we saw some nice ones but i do believe they're a lot bigger and if they are spawning we're going to see a lot bigger so 
we're out here now it's officially opener we can get our lines wet so we're gonna turn on the lights we're gonna start hitting the shore lines and see if we can get hooked up you honestly could probably just cast right in there oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's right there he's you see him okay Oh, definitely some movement out of him. <gasps> got him! Got him! Beauty! Beauty! That was awesome, Nick! Oh, it just came off. No! Ooh. Oh, that got crazy there for a second. Oh, it was like a mid-twenties. That was a nice one. Mm, I saw him eat. That was so sick. That was so sick. That was definitely exciting. Definitely a nice fish. Pretty cool. Hopefully, we picked up that bite actually on the camera. So. For sure. I don't know. The night's still young, though. I think it's not even one o'clock. Let me check. Twelve fifty-two. So we we still got a couple hours here. No way! That was insane. Your drag opened and he came up and just slapped it. Oh my! That's a beauty. God, that was so sick. I got it. I got the net. I saw him hit, but then when I freaking went to set the hook, my bail opened. Oh yeah, nice walleye. That was terrifying. Nice walleye. <laughs> yeah, that's a beauty. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Gorgeous fish. Definitely not the best best hook set I've ever had in my well, life. Well, that was so scary when your bail opened like that. Whew. Well, finally, first walleye. It's been a grind, honestly. Got him out. Guess what we're using? Probably already guessed it, but eyeball jig, north and tackle. This one's silver. Definitely my go-to when I come up here. Tipping it with the top of a Mr. Twister. This is the chartreuse. Just give us a little color, a little flavor. But nice, beautiful walleye. I'm almost thinking this one's a male because it's uh, it's a little skinny. It's definitely long. It's probably like a 24-inch fish, but I'm not feeling any sag or nothing, so. I'm assuming this one's just a pre-spawn big male. Ooh, bleeding a little, we're gonna have to hurry. 22 and a half. All right, not as big as I thought, but still a nice fish. That one I missed was probably a little bigger than this. That one for sure was probably a female. But that one, just a nice male. Swims right back down to the bottom. That was sweet. Sight fishing, guys, it is it is so much fun. If you have a lake, or even go to the rivers. I mean, you'd be surprised if you guys get out at night, especially during the springtime. We fish this lake all year and can do this, but there are a lot of lakes. You just gotta get out there and explore them. It is getting late. What time is it now? Uh, 2.30. We do plan on fishing in the morning, so we're gonna give it a maybe a half an hour or so, because we still gotta set up everything and go to bed and yeah. So we'll see how it goes. He's right there. He's right there. No. Nice. Holy. Right under the boat. <gasps> he he turned on it so I hard. I never even saw him really. He's not bad. He turned on it hard. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. oh that shakes. Yeah, that's a decent one. Good luck netting them. Yeah. Uh oh. Our light went off. Oh. Nick, save me. How do I? <laughs> There's a button on there. Got there it. Go. Got it. <gasps> Sorry, I almost got shot with your catch there. There you go. Let's go. Nice. Woo! There we go. All right. Same thing, just that silver Northland tackle jig with a little plastic on there. Take a look at that beauty. Gorgeous fish. Definitely pre spawn. Definitely. Put them to the bump. 100% this fish is pre spawn. Yeah. It's gonna be pushing 18 or 19 probably. And like 18 on the dot. Look at that. Okay. It's 18 inches. We could keep this fish, but since it's a female, I definitely want her to swim back and go ahead and lay some eggs. There she goes. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I was saying, guys, just want to make sure that we're getting pretty much every female that we can back into the water where we are fishing smaller lakes up here in northern Wisconsin and you know it's it's tough sometimes to keep a really good walleye population especially in a little honey hole like we've got here if you take every fish out to eat well then you're obviously not going to have any more walleyes now 
this lake has a fairly good walleye population and part of the reason for that is because we do what you just saw right there is by putting those females back and it's early spring obviously that fish was pre-spawn and within a matter of weeks maybe even days um, that fish is going to go ahead and uh, lay some eggs creating more walleyes to keep this lake pristine just like it is right now so good to see that fish go back it's getting pretty late now honestly at this point maybe we'll take a couple more casts but that might be the last one of the hey owl can you can you just calm it down a little i'm trying to talk to the camera here they're going nuts <laughs> like i said guys we're gonna take a couple more casts maybe go around the rest of the shoreline until we get up by the landing i guess if you'll call it and might be a night. All right. Land ho. Woo! Alrighty, guys. I don't know how in the heck we did it, but we made her back to the truck. It's currently, let's take a peek. Oh, you know, quarter after four. It's after four in the morning already. Long night out on the water, but hey, we had some fun. We got to see some awesome fish get right on top of them. Something you guys are probably not used to seeing. That's one of the things that Nick and I have been wanting to showcase here on the channel is just really getting on top of some walleyes right there in their element. Uh, absolutely beautiful fish. Beautiful place to be up here in northern Wisconsin. We're going to be up here for, well, we're going to be camping in the truck tonight. As you can tell, this is absolutely filled with stuff. We were planning on obviously setting up the tent, but some of the rules with the whole COVID thing and just the room and the fact that we'd have to set up the tent right now at four in the morning, that does not sound fun at all. So we're actually gonna be camping in the truck for tonight. We're gonna check on the rules. Maybe we can set up the tent tomorrow. We're not like on a campsite or anything, but we just wanna make sure that we're following the rules right now with everything that's been going on. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, grab some food out of the old dinner pail here. We got oh some, God. we got some munchies, we got Triscuits, we got chips. What do we got here? Ooh. Some Snyder's uh, jalapeno pretzels. Oh, those look banger. Okay. Yeah, we got sandwiches made up. We got all kinds of goodies. But long story short, we're about to hit the hay. We had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions for us on how things went tonight, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. We would love to know if you guys have ever had an opportunity or a chance to see anything quite like that fish in the shallows it's obviously still pre-spawn uh, but man oh man is it cool to just see fish like that like I said we're gonna be up here for days and then the following week uh, Nick and I have off for the whole weekend we took some vacation from work we're gonna be off Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday we're gonna be hopefully able to camp out here on the grind catching some walleyes and stuff like that. It's gonna be awesome. Opening weekend is finally here, guys, and we had a blast tonight. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions for us, leave it down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to also give it a big old fat thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. It's gonna to let you know every time that we post a video up on the channel. Again, until next time, guys, tight lines from NB Edits.